Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Kevin with Optimized Essentials. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 powerful ways to change how you feel, right? How to change your emotional state, AKA your physiology. Now, if you are any personal development junkie or someone who has seen a lot of Tony Robbins, you understand what he means by state because some days we feel very good and some days we feel very low. Now, part of that is just life, but there is a way to enhance your baseline and also change right away, almost instantaneously, your physiology. Now, before I share with you th these 10 se secrets, I wanna share with you also why it's important to change your physiology and why your physiology is impacted in the first place, okay? Your physiology is literally the living organism of, of your body. It's the cells, it's the organs. It's basically how your body is interacting to the environment. And your physiology is impacted by how you're using your body, what types of foods you're putting into your body, the types of information you're putting into your body through your mind, through your senses, and basically how you are using your time. If you are constantly sitting, if you are constantly thinking negative thoughts, constantly thinking about stressful events, all of that is going to produce a stressful physiology, okay? So with that being said, the best way I can describe physiology in terms of how it feels is think about that feeling right after you take a shower. That is your physiology speaking to you. And that's one of the things we'll be talking about, okay? So 10 things to change your physiology, your emotional state, guaranteed, because I haven't seen that many videos, quite frankly, online that give you something good. And these 10 things I've tried and practiced, and I promise you they'll change your physiology fast and they're you can do them anywhere, okay? And if you enjoy these, I would really, really appreciate it if you shared this video with someone or on your social media, if you know that they're always in a funk or subscribe so that, you know, you could stay on my list so that more videos like this come out and you are always at the optimum state, okay? So number one, the very first thing you can do to change your physiology, as I alluded to earlier, is to take a shower, not just any shower, a cold shower, right? If you have the guts, the cojones, the balls to take a cold shower, I guarantee you this is gonna be the quickest, fastest way to change your physiology bar none, okay? Now there's other unhealthy ways, but all the ones that I'm gonna be sharing with you that will change your physiology in the most powerful, radical, and healthy, healthiest way possible will be in these videos. So that's number one. Number two, drink not alcohol, but kombucha, right? I personally like GT's kombucha, um, you know, big fan of him. Uh, hopefully one day, you know, when I got my physical studio up and running that we can partner because, you know, everyone talks about their dreams and plans. So I'm gonna keep mine a secret. When it happens, it happens, but I wanna partner with this guy, you know, have his kombucha readily available on tap because that stuff is, it's raw, it's living, it has probiotics. And probiotics is very, very, very important for your digestive system and your mood because your gut is responsible for producing most of your serotonin. And if your gut is destroyed from eating too much processed junk, too much pesticides, chemicals, foods that have been grown with toxic fertilizers, sprayed down with just way too much glyphosate, right? Gly uh, might have said that wrong, but by Mon Monsanto, and uh, just produced in the most unconscious way because people just wanna make that cash money. So when your foods are all messed up and it messes up your gut, causes gut inflammation, permeability, you do want some probiotics. And a good way to get probiotics and actually change the way you feel is kombucha. Now, GT's kombucha is just my personal favorite. There's other ones like Health Aid Kombucha, which I tried recently. Not bad, um, but I think GT's Kombucha is definitely, he's the king of the king of kombucha, guys. King of kombucha. All right, so, oh, one more thing about kombucha is it has different types of um, acids. Not, not stomach acids, but like acetic acids. It has enzymes when it's produced correctly, which is why it gravitated towards. It's the only carbonated drink 
that when I drink, I actually feel good because it's real food. It has living organisms in it, okay? Now, don't get hooked on it because it can get pretty pricey. Uh, so so pricey that my brother decided to brew his own, but it's, it's not the same, guys. Honestly, it's not the same. Okay, number three. Drink a raw vegetable smoothie, okay? Now, it, the best way you could do this is you go out and buy one of those $5 box of vegetables, throw some oranges in there, throw some apples in there, throw some organic berries in there, blend it up and just chug that, okay? Now, you'll see that I'm, the next few things I'm going to be mentioning, a lot of it has to do with food because physiology, the best way to change and enhance your physiology for the long run is to change what you are putting in your body, okay? When you put coffee in your body, your physiology would change. When you drink alcohol, your physiology would change. When you eat a burger, when you eat a pizza and french fries, damn sure your physiology will change, but not in the healthiest way. The healthiest way, the best ways to change your physiology is to elevate your frequency and vibration through good living, vibrant foods, okay? So drink a raw vegetable smoothie, go outside, go buy a raw mixed greens, organic, Add one serving of fruit, two if you're really wanting the flavor, and three if you're just, don't do three. Three might be a little bit too much because that's a lot of sugar, guys, especially if you're fat, okay? Sorry. Okay, number four, guzzle one liter of water, right? But you need to add freshly squeezed lemon. You must do this, okay? Either lemon or lime because drinking tap water alone or filter water alone, as I've alluded to before, uh, isn't exactly the best for your for your body, especially if you're drinking a liter, guzzling down a liter. That's two of those 0.5 half liter bottles if you didn't know math or can't do math. And lemons, limes, they have electrolytes, some... Uh, some some vitamins so you want to have that in your body so that it's not just filtered acidic water in your system okay and if you don't have lemon sitting around you can maybe do some apple cider vinegar or you could i wouldn't actually that don't do too much apple cider vinegar just do a little bit and then or maybe do some sea salt some pink salt but i really recommend that lemon and if you want to go extreme this is what i recommend before you drink the water take that lemon or two cut it squeeze it in your mouth ah, and then drink your water. Just thinking about that changes my physiology, right? Okay, number five, halfway through. Stir fry three different colors of vegetable greens or eat an alkalizing green salad, okay? Meaning this, again, your body is probably deprived of nutrients, which is why you're feeling like shit or you have low energy, you're fatigued, you're always emotionally down, your hormones are all over the place, it's probably because your diet is messed up. So the best thing you can do is eat vegetables, eat alkalizing greens, or stir fry a serving of vegetables, at least three different colors, three different types of vegetables. And I promise you, just eating those alone, that is gonna change your physiology, not instantly, but it'll improve it over the course of two hours and you'll feel up by the end of two hours, okay? Number six. Here's where we can start doing it instantaneous, instantaneously is breathing, okay? Two forms of breathing. One, radical breathing, the breath of fire. If you haven't done any form of breathing, this may be kind of advanced because you might do shallow breathing instead of doing with your abdominals. The breath of fire, as you guys have probably seen, is where you do the... <laughs> but you have to do it with your belly. You can't do it with just your chest, okay? You need to do it with your belly and you need to do it correctly. And then also you need to combine it with slow, deep, retentive, meaning you hold it. And then slow, deep exhales, meaning you do a inhale for as long as slow, like that sloth scene in a Zootopia. And holding that breath for until it feels comfortable and then letting it out as slow as you can like a very and then just doing that for a period of three minutes and you will be so relaxed so de-stressed that you'll be on cloud nine okay and then number seven flow state music okay i gotta give a big shout out to one of my friends um or a recent friend right i met him at a conscious tribe uh that's what they're called wake wake tribe <laughs> 
Um, and uh, he introduced me to Psytrance. Now there's some really good psycho, there's psycho, psychedelic, psych, I think it's called Psychedelic Trance, but it's Psytrance for short. There's some really good mixes out there and I, I really get into my flow state when I listen to that. I typically like to listen to liquid drum and bass as well as every now and then. I like to listen to EDM, that's my personal favorite. Just because I've been on the, uh, the candy when I was at music festivals and I've done it so many times that it ain't like I've had that anchored experience of flow state through the, the candy usage, which guys I'm not endorsing, but Hey, live life, you know, live life. Um, but through experiencing flow state through EDM, because I was on candy, the times that I've went, um, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Now, every time I listen to EDM and I'm working out, I could get in the zone so fast within 30 seconds, okay? So it's all about finding your own flow state music. For me, that's EDM. Uh, recently, I've been listening to some side trance. Liquid D&B is pretty good, but I have to get my blood pumping. I can't just listen to it. I have to either mix it with deep breathing or when I'm working out, my blood is pumping. That's the best way I can change my physiology. And I feel so high, guys, so high. No drugs, just music and exercise and I am high as a kite, okay? Number eight, go out for a walk, okay? This is the easiest thing. If you can't, if you don't have access to any of this, just take some earplugs. I'll give you a bonus right here. Listen to motivational music and go out for a walk, guys. I promise you, you are gonna feel so good just because you're moving your body and you're listening and you're programming your mind with the best thoughts of the best minds because they're in a flow state, they're in a, prime elevated present state their physiology is good because they're speaking either to a very large audience and you are being un inundated with a higher level of consciousness so that when you're listening to it and you're moving your body you are feeding your mind and your body and your soul okay that is how you really change your physiology okay and then number nine you could start skipping right as you're out there you're gonna start skipping bouncing 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 which is related to number 10 if you do all these together you're, oh my God, you are going to be just on fire, okay? Radical screaming, shouting, radical movements, right? One of the easiest thing you can do is like literally just start shaking your face. <laughs> but that's only if you have what it takes to unleash yourself like that. A lot of us have bottled up emotions. That is why our physiology is stagnant and stuck. But when you let it all out, when you let, I wanna scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. And uh, oh, we are, we are, we are. When you do that, guys, I promise you, you can go from a very low state of emotions to a very high state of emotions in no time. So. Last thing, before you close this out, I want you to put your hand up. I vow that I will implement and practice one of these today, right here, right now, so that it gets cemented in my brain. Because if you are a personal development junkie, you probably have the habit and tendency to watch videos and videos and videos and videos and videos and videos and implement zero, okay? So put your hands up, vow to me, make yourself a promise to you that you will practice at least one of these today, okay? And after that, you're gonna take your hand, your button, and you're gonna click the subscribe button and click the like button and leave me a comment down below because I just shared with you my best ways to change your physiology. All right, have a good one, peace.